Hello guys, I'm Data and welcome to my channel. Today we have the part 2 of the video that I've released yesterday where I discussed the Assault's Heroes because as I already told you we have an event that lets you pick a hero for free. So yesterday we talked about Assault's Today we're talking about heavies. Uh, I forgot to mention the Hellslinger uh, Battle Master. Don't worry, it's pretty bad anyways, so don't bother. Uh, we'll, we'll go with heavies. So first, Archer. Uh, as we did yesterday, I'm not only going to tell you if the mech is good or not, but if it is unique or not, and what mechs are similar to that. Uh, Archer Tempest. Uh, is it good? It's kind of decent, uh, just another MRM with backup laser boat. Uh, is it unique? No, uh, the Warhammer 7S is for Seabills and does uh, pretty much the same thing. There are also other mechs that do more or less the same stuff, couple of MRMs and uh, lasers. Uh, then Black Knight, Black Knight Partisan. Is it good? Yes. Uh, is it unique? It's kind of unique because it's not something that you see uh, every day um, when you're talking about an inner sphere hero, inner sphere heavy. Let's remove favorites because uh, I have all of them. Um, a ghost vomit. Uh, large lasers, ghost rifle, XL. This is good and pretty unique. It's not common to see a inner sphere ghost vomit. It's kind of similar to the grasshopper Mjolnir, but we'll get to that later. So this for sure is a good pick. Cataphract, Ilya Muromets. Uh, is it good? Yes, it's excellent. Is it unique? It's kind of unique. Um, one of the most underrated mechs in the game. Uh, I have two of those. Uh, the fact is that you can, yes, you can do two Yar Large and two Goss also on other mechs like Thanatos, for example. Uh, or on the Clan Knight Gear H with ECM, but the mounts are completely different and the quirks are also completely different. This one has a lot of quirks. Uh, the mounts are perfectly synchronized on the right side. Um, you can do also two AC-10s and three light PPCs. The mech is very good, a very solid choice for this event. Catapult, the Jester, is it good? Yes. Is it unique? No, it's just another laser vomit. Border B. Uh, is it good? Yes. Is it unique? No, it's just another jump jet mech with uh, MRMs. You can do that on other catapults and you can do that on the Dervish. Champion. Is it good? No. Is it unique? No, it's a piece of shit. Don't buy it. Uh, Dragon, Fang and Flame. Uh, as for the Fang and Flame, the Fang is good with three large pulses or three PPCs all on one side, but it's not unique. You can do three large pulses or three PPCs, also another max. The Flame is not unique and it's not even good. It's just bad. Don't do it. You could try to put, of course, right now, if you put snub noses and ACs on every mech, it's going to be more or less okay, but it's just because snub noses are overpowered when they'll get nerfed, and they will get nerfed for sure, because they're, they're just breaking the game. Uh, this thing that you do, that you just lap a couple of snub noses and ACs on every mech and it becomes strong, won't be doable anymore. <clears throat> Ebon Jaguar. Uh, Esprit de Coop. Uh... Is it good for the Omnipods? Yes, and it's also unique. It adds extra options for the laser vomit. Uh, for example, the arms. If you want to put a laser here with uh, laser duration, like minor quirks. Without this, you would have to do the one with two that has um, less appealing quirks. The one with one laser has you are literally getting 2.5 duration on this kind of build. And um, for the ballistic uh, hard points, uh, I'm using those on mechs that are not heroes, it lets you do uh, better UAC builds with the left torso. So the Esprit de Corp is definitely one um, 
of the good heroes to pick. Grasshopper Mjolnir. Uh, pretty much the same build of the other one. This though also has UAC oriented quirks. It's good and it's unique. A good pick for sure. Hellbringer Virago, one of the best mechs in the game. Set of eight. Four heavy large with perfect mounts. This is another must have in everyone's mech club. They are the mounts are pretty good. Hellfire. Mask. Double UAC and the backup lasers. Is it good? Kinda. Is it unique? It is unique, but it's a 60 tonner, pretty big, that relies on brawling. Two Ultra Tens and some small pulses. Uh... It's good, but it's not one of the best. Jaeger Mac Firebrand, unique, no. Good, yes, five year large with range, heat, and uh, and cooldown. Very, very, very strong. I'd say the best inner sphere, uh, year large, heavy mech boat. Other mechs can do that, but not with these quirks. Linebacker adds extra options for uh, with the omnipods because it's an omni mech mediocre at best mad dog uh the the ba is just another ballistic mech with double ultras and uh backup lasers just take the l fire because it has mask and this one doesn't uh, Re uh revenant mad dog this is interesting because it adds uh, the lasers in the ct like the mad dogs in the lore uh, so you can uh, get missiles with a lot of backup lasers or you can just turn it into a laser vomit. It's an interesting option if you're a fan of the Mad Dogs. Marauder, Bounty Hunter 2. Uh, this is good and it's also pretty unique. It's another Goss Vomit. Uh, 7 energy, 1 ballistic. You can do 1 Goss and multiple medium lasers, or large lasers, large pulses, or you can pop tart with three RPPCs. Good and unique. Night Gear, one of the best mechs in the game, the Jade Kite. This is an absolute must. Set of eight, two RPPCs and uh, four Ultra 2s. Very strong and also, and it's also very unique. Um... Where did I put it? This one. This is very, very, very good with the set of eight. Don't touch the set of eight. Uh, Nova Cat. Is it good? No. Is it unique? No. Uh, Orion P. It's good and it's also unique. This is one of the max that people underestimate the most. Uh, two ER PPCs, one here and one here, and two light gosses. It's a right side peaker with uh, two ER PPC, two light gosses. It's very strong. Probably it's pretty slow. Orion's Call, one of the most overpowered mechs in the game. Uh, it has the armor pretty much of an assault with heat uh, PPC HSL. Uh, so, uh, this one is very, very strong. You can do four large pulses. Uh, or you can do two PPCs and a Gauss all on one side Alpha Strike, or three RPPCs Alpha Strike. And you have Mask. So this kind of firepower moves at around 100 kph, maybe even a little bit more. This is one of the absolute must-have mechs in everyone's inventory. This one. This one is going to go something like 100, 104 kph. Then, quick draw, uh, outclassed by the overbuffed dervish with MRMs. Doesn't make sense anymore. The dervish should get nerfed, doesn't make any sense. Rifleman, legend, killer, decent with two LB2s and two LB5s, however, it's meh. Just decent. Unique for sure, two LB2s, two LB5s, pretty unique I'd say, but not that, not that strong. Dowbreaker. It is unique and it's also strong. Five regular 
large lasers. I've also done videos on this one. Rifleman 2C, it's slightly more powerful than uh, the A, uh, but it's not unique. It's decent, but it's not unique. Uh, Rothneck, uh, the R is just bad. The powerhouse is just bad. The BLT is good. It has a four ballistics high mounted, but it is not unique because the Jaeger Mech for Seabills does the same. Summoner, just for extra Omnipods, doesn't really add anything. Uh, whatever. Uh, Vanguard is shit. AMB and ML, they are both good with four large pulls, and this way they are not good but not unique, but if you combine them, you obtain a mech that has two large pulses, two heavy larges, and two yard meds, all high mounted with ECM. It's very unique and very strong, but you need to own both the ML and the AMB. Uh, okay, Tarados, uh, Hangover. Is it good? Yes. Is it unique? Yes. This is a brawler with five small lasers and five SRMs. Uh, for sure it's very, very, very unique. And with all that extra heat that it has now, it also has ECM. You can basically push very fast and have a lot of sustained DPS. Now, we have the Thunderbolt. Is it good? No. It's just another laser vomit with bad quirks and bad tonnage. Uh, is it unique? No. It's just a, a weaker version of the Warhammer laser vomit. Uh, the, with the slightly more agility, but that doesn't matter because it has less tonnage. Uh, Timberwolf. War. It was unique because it was the only timber with uh, the energy right torso without the jump jet. Uh, now it lost that because the BH, the new one, has that plus the ECM on the same torso. Is it good? Yes, because of the center torso, mainly, because uh, it has a good quirk in the CT. I think it's heat dissipation, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, heat dissipation 5, but it's not unique. I wouldn't take it. Um, Warhammer, Black Widow. Is it good? Yes. Is it unique? Yes. Uh, this is kind of 4 AC5s and 2 light PPCs, all high mounted in uh, the torsos. Like this. So, in the end, which ones are the best? I'm going to highlight them one by one. Like, the, the top picks would be between the Ilia, um, Virago, Jade Kite, and a Skull, The two sun spiders, and the rifleman Dow breaker. I think the most interesting, unique, and powerful ones are are these ones. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content. If so, remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the content with your friends, and hit the bell to enable the notifications. I'll catch you guys next time.